Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Jonathan Price and welcome to a Tech Thursday. Uh, this week we are going to be looking at the wonderful, wonderful world of being disgusted. And so it's, it's going to be kind of short. I'm going to show you a video that I did um, that I composed for several years ago. And it's it kind of encompasses everything from angry, disgusted, sad, fearful, um, the, a lot of these emotions that were tied in. And we kind of... Uh, me and the director, we kind of use this um, this whole side of the of the template, if you will, to gauge what's going on between these these two. Um, if you're new to joining us and you're not new to joining FSP, I just want to say a huge welcome to you guys. Um, this is if this is the first video you're watching, uh, go back and check out some of these other videos that we've been doing the last couple of weeks. We've been talking about this wheel of emotion and we've been going through surprised, bad, fearful, angry, and this week is disgusted and the next two weeks will be sad and happy. The very first week in this series, we actually discussed a general overview of what music does uh, with emotions um, involved and how it's so different writing for film than it is writing for stage. And um, so I encourage you to go back and check that out as a uh, as this is the first, this is the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, sixth week of this series. And we have two more weeks to go. Um, a little more of a precursor. Uh, in uh, three weeks, we will have a very special um, screencast and recording and video where I sit down with Kevin Simon, who won a contest several weeks ago for the... Um, I was the 4,000th FSP member and we did a contest and, um, we, he's was the winner of that contest. So, uh, him and I are going to sit down and he's just going to pop off random questions about composing and scoring and a whole bunch of different stuff. And so I have no idea what we're going to talk about, but it's going to be awesome. So without further ado, we're going to dive into the world of being disgusted and how it relates to film and music. So when we look at disgusted, we have this. Um, now, keep in mind, none of these are hard and fast rules, hard, hard and fast um, emotions, if you will. Uh, we have disapproving, disappointed, awful, feeling repelled, hesitant, horrified, detestable, nauseated, revolted, appalled, embarrassed, and judgmental. So, a lot of these, um, uh, like like we did last week, are kind of in the uh, internal category. Uh, you can you can be disapproving with with your actions, and yeah, you can do all those kind of things with your actions. These are all external um, action type things, but they can also be internal feeling of um, of of all of these of all of these feelings, for lack of a better word. Um, so what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to, if you, if you need to take a screenshot of this, um, or you can download it from the FSP Facebook page and you can download it and just kind of follow along if you, if you'd like. So, um, I'm going to minimize this real quick. So this film, um, is called, oops, sorry, uh, love storm. And it's a series It's the first in a series of eight that is talking about different types of um, love and it's, it's, uh, based in the, here in the Denver area. And so this is the first one of eight films and it's only five minutes or five, six minutes. So I'm going to play the whole thing for you. And I want you to take a listen to how I use, um, uh, seconds and I use, I, I really utilize the use of drones and simple chord progressions. So the main chord progression that you're going to hear um, is this D minor. The whole thing is in D minor. The whole film is in D minor. And I didn't want to change the keys too much because the D minor was just a really nice, sad, general overarching key for this particular picture. And what you're going to hear is there's really only four chords that I use. The D minor, I use a B flat. I also use A minor and F. Necessarily in that order, but that's what I use. And then I also use, um, I I go up to, um, I do change the key a little bit in terms of where the key is placed. So, in the key of D minor, we have um, F G A, the B flat, C D. 
So what I do is in, in this last section over here, um, I start in the key of um, a G minor and I play around with this melody. It goes. Very simple, very basic. And then I just change the chords around it. So I use, um, I use G minor. throw another weird chord in here I go to E flat so I go to a it's, it's a technically a major two in the key of D minor um, there's a couple of different things that I could classify this theoretically I could say well no I'm actually in the key of of G minor and trend going down to E flat but uh, theory wise it works out that I'm in the key of D minor and I won't bore you with all the theory details. So um, if you want, message me and we can talk about theory all day long. I love I love that stuff. So um, here we go. So I want to play this whole thing for you and even down to the credits because there's some interesting stuff that I do with the transition into the credits that I want you guys to pay attention to. So I'm going to play it all the way through, including the credits. And here we go. Hope you enjoy. Stuck. Can you hear me out, please? What's the point? We're looking at a freezing low with gusting winds between 15 and 20 miles per hour. Don't you love Colorado? We only have to deal with this blizzard for one night, but tomorrow sky's clearing and temperatures back up into the 60s. You can't stay here. We're done. What are you doing? It can't be. It's a blizzard out there. Here we go, our forecast for tonight. Snow hey. will continue to fall. It's not what you think it is.
morning. Where are you going? You said no. I thought I made it clear last night. I just don't think we're... All right, so there you go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, <clears throat> so let's let's dive into a little bit of this. I'm only going to focus on a few of these uh, sections. One of the things that I utilized a lot is the use of drone uh, or um, pedal points, pedal tones, with um, major minor seconds uh, increasing, either moving down or moving up away from the uh, pedal the pedal point and so like like in the very very beginning let's look at this bring this wheel back up here and a, a lot of the the dialogue that i had with the director his name is lamb great guy and he he and i were trying to figure out how many things we wanted to represent and so the thing that th we came up with three there was the aspect of of the man and the aspect of the woman and then the um i guess really um unclear tension between them as to um as you kind of saw at the end uh she pulls him away from the door there's a engagement ring box or we think it's an engagement ring box and we don't really know whether or not he stays or if he leaves and so that's kind of the how do you feel about it? And however you feel is how he, however the story ends is, is how you feel about it. And we wanted to really convey that. And we wanted to convey it in a way that, um, we scored all three at the same time. So in every aspect you see him and her, there's always him and her and an underlying, um, tension in the music. And so like, um, so in this first, in this first section, there's really only, there's supposed to be three. And I think if we really hear it, um, we'll be able to hear all three. So there's that drum. Oh 
car is stuck. Can you hear me out, please? What's the point? So there's definitely two dialogues there. And the strings and the piano, the piano I'm using for him uh, in this particular case, and the strings are more her and the fact that there is a underlying emotion and tension there. Um, so <clears throat> that's one of the ways to get through through that little scene. So um, for him, this this film, I kind of I kind of wrote it from the aspect because um, I've actually been in this situation. And where something just didn't work out with the engagement, and it it sucked. It really it uh, it hurt a little bit. So I I kind of drew on that experience, and when I when I was thinking back on it, I was I was thinking, well, he would. I I was feeling very repelled. Um, I felt awful. I was disappointed. Um, I I felt embarrassed, appalled. Um, definitely nauseated. I was hesitant about what I wanted to do. Um, there's a lot of stuff that when you think of the word disgusted, you think, ugh, you know, that's, that's horrible. Um, well, that's, that's kind of right. Um, there's a lot of feelings that you feel when you get disgusted and you don't really realize them in the moment. But once you look back on it, you feel, you say, wow, yeah, I was a lot of these things, if not everything. And so um, I, I really drew on that for this particular film. And in this upcoming scene, um, we, uh, you'll hear, um, some different transitions and you'll hear in this section up here, there is a cello part. Um, I don't remember what it does. Um, it's that kind of motive. It's not the right notes. Uh, but you'll hear it. You'll hear it in a second. Um, and then at the very end over here, well, well, let's just play it. We'll talk a little bit about these, these emotions. I think it's blizzard for one night, but tomorrow sky's clearing and temperatures back up into the 60s. You can't stay here. We're done. What are you doing? I can't leave. There's a blizzard out there. Here we go. Our forecast for tonight. Snow hey. will continue to fall. It's not what you think it is. Okay, so that whole section, that whole section is composed in free time. So I don't use a click. I didn't use um, any sort of metronome or I wanted there to be a timing tension because the timing in, in these two people's lives is very off and I use that as very symbolic. So take that for what it is. And in this transition, you'll hear uh, the piano um, coming with the motif and the cello will take over uh, in, in a minute. I will be not ready. I told you. I mean, come on. This is, this is unbelievable. We can wait. And no. yeah, we have everything we could need. We don't need to complicate things. We've been things. together five years. What was the last five years to you? Huh? So as you can see, there's definitely three elements going on. There's the soaring overarching emotion of the strings that's conveying the melody or that's conveying the emotion between the two. There's the cello, which is representative of him. And there are these um, very um, chunky strings that are kind of happening. You can you can kind of hear them in, in this recording, but they represent her and her um, begrudging attitude and her... Um, kind of reserved trying to figure out what's what trying to console him I guess in a, in a manner of speaking I don't understand look okay I'm sorry
So in this last section, we hear, um, I use these, these seconds, um, I love that. I love the 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 tonality of that major second against a D minor chord. And that's all it is. But when you have high strings that are kind of on that verge of breaking, I just build. I just build, and all three of these sustain until they're until they come back down. And then I use an open um, chord voicing uh, without a third to make it sound like it could sound major and it could sound minor. Uh, but we're, our ear is so used to hearing that it is, um, in this particular case, that it's, um, that it's minor, that our ear automatically wants to hear uh, minor. So that's, it's one of those, those uh, sonic tricks. So as we move on, uh, you'll hear the melody that I played for you at the very, very beginning. And um, when we were trying to figure out where in the world this this music was going to happen, um, we wanted there to be some sort of lull or some sort of finality to what was to what had happened the night before. And because it's a new day and it's a new a beginning, maybe something different is going to happen. And this is where we decided to change the mood and the attitude of the music. So the music evolves from this dark, um, kind of sort of angry and disgusted music to this almost hopeful and unclear, um, motif, which is that, uh, the, that that thing so it, it moves into that and and by using this motif uh, and this melody um, you're able to you can if you can find one of these if you can write one of these little motifs you can do a whole lot with it by just changing the chord and changing the quality of what's happening with that with that melody because you can change it from sad here's the major version Here's also the, um, sorry, there's a lawn people outside. Oh my goodness. This is going to bother me. Um, so we have this, you can do the major. And back to F. So I'm going to play this for you real quick. said no. I thought I made it clear last night. I just don't think we're... So we have this, um, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. Um, so we have this transition. Um, I use this, um, that reverse piano effect on the F7, 
which is then going to take me into the new key going into the credits. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. It's the... Sorry, that lawnmower is going to... That lawnmower is going to bother the crap out of me. Um, hopefully it doesn't come through too loud on this recording because this is the only time I have to do this uh, video. So I really, really apologize. Um, w so with that being said, we moved into um, actually the key of C-sharp minor. Oops. Okay. So that, that F7 coming from here. Okay. So we have that going on. And um, two. Okay. So it's important to try to utilize all these little teeny tiny tricks that. Um, they get kind of moved around and I used um, that from F to C sharp or D flat if you want. <clears throat> uh, in this case it'd be C sharp minor because I'm using the... Alright. So um, when we were talking about the anger and the or the disgusted point of it, I wanted to really focus on what his attitude was and what his um, the feeling was in the terms of whether or not he uh, was sexual, successful in his proposal. And um, so I hope we were able to look at the aspect of being repelled, feeling awful, feeling disappointed, embarrassed. Now, some of this stuff also had the anger in it, and there were different aspects of this that I wanted to show um, in that middle section when they're fighting. So go back and watch this film again. Um, if you'd like and look at it through the lens of these three um, sad, disgusted and angry and sad. We're going to talk about next week. Um, so I'm going to jump out of here and we're going to um, get this annoying piece out of the way. So um, thank you guys for joining me. And I'm, again, I apologize for the um, if, if there is some bleed coming from outside. We've got maintenance people going all over the place. And so um yeah, it, it's been crazy around here. So apologize. And man, we will talk to you guys next week. I'm so excited to get into this um, sad. I know that's kind of a weird thing, but yeah, we're, we're going to get into sad and we're going to talk about um, all these emotions of being sad and being um, left out in the cold, I guess. So if you have any questions, again, drop me a line, send me a text or um, send me a, a message or leave a comment in the comments below. And I will talk to you guys later. Have an incredible week and a wonderful weekend. Be blessed.